Uh, next is our biometric efficiency, which is 99%, which is rather high, but it is possible. Uh, the next efficiency, 0.09% for our conversion factor, uh, conversion efficiency, efficiency uh, is probably not very realistic. Um, Brake mean effective pressure is 98 psi, and our power is 2.5, which gives us a mechanical efficiency of 19%, which is um, ad adequate for an internal combustion engine. Um, I want to highlight the safety. This is one of the more dangerous experiments. So you have fumes, you have hot surfaces, rotating equipment, and loud noises. So we had to use safety um, glasses. We had to make sure that the exhaust vent was turned on and we needed air plugs. In summary, we needed to utilize the plots given to view the patterns in the engine's performance, and we learned how to recognize um, the effect that changing the load and the speed have on the torque and power output. Some recommendations I would make is to have a manual provide nomenclature and some units, as well as have the data output um, provide units, and I feel like it was missing some variables necessary, so I kind of get, had to guess on those things as well. So uh, making that a bit better would make the results a bit better. Any questions? So we you explain the constant speed uh, variable on the graph? Mm -hmm. On that graph, so uh, why is the difference between torque and the power increasing and increasing loads? So it's multiplicative, so let's say this starts at a given value, let's say 1 and this up to 4. Once you start increasing your multiplier, this is going to go up to 8, 12, 16, that's going to get to 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's multiplicative, so the smaller your value is, the smaller step increase you have. Any other questions? Alright, let's take a break.